Hi, this is Robin Heppel from FuneralFutures.com with another Funeral Tech Tip. And today's tip is how to find keywords for your Google AdWords campaigns. Well, the first thing that I'd like to do is turn to Google, and we'll start there. So what we do is we just dive right in, and we search for our term. So here we're going to search for funeral homes and we're going to do uh, Austin, Texas. Now we can we can do a variety of, of different ones, and Google's going to give us some examples uh, or um, associated ones that they believe are similar. But I like to um, I like to do some of them on my own first, just so we we get those. And what we'll do is we'll do the singular version, although. I believe that it's always more important to bid on um, the the plural version because that's more of a buying term when people are looking for the plural where the singular it could just be Heppel Funeral Home Austin Texas but if it's funeral homes it's more of you know people aren't searching for multiple funeral homes when they want one specific one so Normally they wouldn't use an S, but if they're starting their search and they want to know what funeral homes are in Austin, then they would use the plural. Just like if you wanted to go out for a Chinese dinner, you would search for Chinese restaurants, plural, uh, Austin, Texas. You wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, say Chinese restaurant, Austin, Texas. Uh, we'll switch this here. Oh, and one thing to mention, um, when we're doing our initial broad search, um, I would usually prefer to not check this. So just have where it says only show ideas closely related to my search terms. Uh, for now, I want to keep that unchecked so that we see the broader keywords. So here it has the four that, that we searched for. And it's basically showing that they're all the same because they're very close or Google assumes that they're close but we can also drill drill down on these as well and what I mean by that is if we go back up here <clears throat> and then we check off exact and phrase match and research or it'll probably populate it now we're gonna get some variation so here when there's no brackets that means that this is um, broad map so it could be any of these words with other words in any order and that's why it's coming up here um, with the at 1900 but what's uh, and we'll actually sort it here by local searches so since these are all broad and Google is either telling us that they believe that T TX and Texas are the same but we also want to know exactly what people are searching for. So then we get into some of the phrase matches, meaning that there's going to be um, you know, this string of words, uh, all four of them together, but um, there could be other words before or after it. And this kind of goes to my point previously, where um, you know, this could be the search but if it was Heppel Funeral Home, Austin, Texas, this would still qualify. Same um, with this here. If the surname or the business name of the funeral home uh, could be used in searches, and there, as you know, if you're looking at your Google Analytics, there are probably a lot of searches for your funeral home in the city that you're in. What's interesting to note, though, here is that, um, in this case, TX, versus Texas is searched almost 500, well, 560 more times per month. Now, we're not going to throw away Texas, but we're going to make sure that um, that we, we realize that TX is searched more often. And that goes the same here for when 
we actually get into the exact match and it's showing then and this the exact match means that people search these four words and that's it so 260 people per month search those four words in a row with no other words now if we go down here we can see that with Texas written out only 46 so now there's even a bigger you know, there's 234 um, searches uh, more for TX than Texas so this is you know this is just giving us an idea of some of the ways that people search in um, in Texas now what we could do is go back and flip some of those around so we'll do that and uh, I'll just pause the video and then come back and we'll look at those results as well so what I've done here is just then moved um, Austin Texas uh, ahead of funeral homes and also added mortuary because sometimes even though we may not call our firm a mortuary other people may call it that so again it all depends on on your location and we'll just uh, run the search again so now you know even these ones get into that same 1900 mix because from a broad perspective it doesn't matter what order the the words are in but it seems that from a phrase and an exact match perspective um, and this is what I tend to see more more often is the category keywords are typed first and then the geo targeted keywords are typed second um, this is because sometimes with um, Google Instant, if you have that set up, meaning that as you type, it's showing you results. It, um, you may even see, the person may even see the results by just typing in funeral homes, and if they're in that area, it'll start to show the local searches first before even putting in the qualifying uh, geo-targeted terms. But just uh, interesting to note that, um, again, there's a big a big difference between the geo words first and then funeral homes versus the other way around. And you can see that people don't even search for the term mortuary or it's not really showing up. So then we continue our search though and uh, we'll get into some other ones but um, one thing that you need to note is that um, you know Google will also try to figure out some other words for you so um, here it looks like there is the Harrell funeral home and mission funeral home one thing and we'll talk about negative keywords in a minute is that um, especially when we're using the term home we may want to exclude um, searches like with um, that contain real estate um, or realtor uh, because they're going to be heavily bidding on the word home as well and especially homes in Austin Texas so the only difference of the word would be funeral so we just want to make sure that we keep um, that in mind when we're creating our negative keywords and here you go homes for sale um, and then now Angel uh, Funeral Home. Uh, now here's one, Austin Lane Mortuary. Now that must be then the name of the mortuary, and that's probably not even in Austin, Texas. And then there um, also, this is good, is where it's showing us the different uh, cremation um, searches. And so here are a couple here for cremation in Austin and here as well now we're also then going to go back up here and we're going to go to keyword ideas 
Now this is then Google's going to interject additional words into our list. So if we scroll down, you can see these other words now some. So funeral homes in, and you know there is five million searches for that. Um, lots of searches for Austin, Texas, and uh, you know both. But again, these aren't in. Um, they're they're not in quotes or in brackets. So a lot of these aren't applicable, but you can see how many people are searching for homes in Austin, Texas. So again, we want to make sure that we would exclude ourselves with our negative, or exclude those searches by using real estate and even homes for sale in our negative keyword list. So since this is so broad, Let's then go back up to the top and say only show closely related terms. And we'll scroll down after our list and now we can see that other ones are popping up. So there's the mission again. And here's some, you know, some other ones. And as you can see, most of them are the, you know, the formal name of the funeral home. Now, what I'm going to do is actually take out funeral home singular. because I think that's why we're getting so many of those. So you can see it removed just by taking out funeral home. And again, that goes back to my point earlier that since we removed the singular version, um, it actually knocks out all of those ones that are people are searching specifically for a, a, a brand name of a business. Now, there's, you know, people might think, oh, well, I want to bid on my competitors' keywords, but um, people are not going to, you know, it, people are probably not going to choose your ad if you're, um, you know, if it says something else than what they're actually looking for. So if they're looking for, um, Harl Funeral Home in Austin, Texas, and it's and you are Heppel Funeral Home in Austin, Texas. You know you're just trying to trick them, and what's going to happen? Two negative things are going to happen. One is that um, if they click your ad, they're, you're going to pay for that, and they're going to land on your website, and they're going to go, oh, "This isn't where I want to be," and they're going to go back. Uh, the other thing that we don't that people don't think about often is that when you um, when you put your ad out there and it doesn't get clicked um, it also hurts you because you're getting a, you end up getting a lower click-through rate and the uh, lower the click click-through rate means the lower the quality score that Google is giving you for your campaigns so the um, the tighter that you can make those uh, your ads and you know associated with your keywords and that your ads are more clickable the higher the click-through rate it's going to help you um, and you'll actually spend less money and get more clicks so that's just that's how Google really um, you know really rewards people but who put their time into into this and that's why when when we do this for a firm is that usually our monthly fee is covered by um, we're able to elevate their quality score and um, get their cost per click down um, and they're getting they're actually getting more clicks so it's usually when you then add in the management fee it's a wash or they're even better and and then they don't have to worry about it you can worry about serving serving your families now um, one th one more thing that I want to look at here is cremation 
So let's look at cremation. So now I have my uh, cremation terms in here. Uh, cremation, cremation services, cremation costs. And I'm just sticking with uh, the TX part. We know from our search that uh, that's going to be more important than Texas, but um, it's not that we're going to eliminate the word Texas either. And we'll scroll down, we'll run the search. So interesting, I don't know if you noticed before, the um, the clicks for the funeral terms were, the cost per click was approximately, um, a, you know, the high, like, you know, $1.80, $1.90, or $2, and you look at cremation, and it's like triple, uh, or even a bit more. But the searches are a lot less. So what we're going to do though is um, we'll hop over and we'll take a look of what their their groupings are and it's not showing us anything different so let's go back to keyword ideas and it's not showing us much more so what we'll do is we'll expand the search a little bit so here it's giving us some more um, so there's some people are searching even without Texas, so we want to make sure that we use just cremation in Austin, uh, and that's you know that would be true for for our funeral terms as well. Um, but here's what we uh, what I was looking for, and now all of a sudden pet cremation comes up. Now, if you have a pet service, um, you're going to want pets and things like that, but you're not going to want the pet terms in your funeral campaigns. Um, so you can see there's some pet ones here as well. Now the other thing too that we need to remember is that um, you know we we're looking at this just from using the geo geo targeted words like uh, Austin and Austin Texas. But people may just be searching for cremation services and that's it. And they're going to find local ones in uh, you know in their area. So you're going to want to use those keywords as well. But let me caution you: is when you do add those to your campaigns that you do it in a broad match format. Sorry, that you do that in an exact match format with the with the brackets around those those words. Any words that um, you have that don't have your geo traffic your geo targeted word in it um, you want to make sure that you have it exact match and that you um, make sure that you're only um, you're you're not doing it for the entire country either because that means someone could be in Jupiter Florida and search for cremation and if you're bidding on just cr cr the word cremation in a broad match your ad is going to be part of that auction. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about negative keywords. So as I mentioned uh, when things like pets come up um, for especially for cremation searches uh, you want to add these as negative keywords so that means if someone's searching for pet cremations in Austin Texas and you're bidding on the terms cremation Austin Texas that if pet is a negative keyword, your ad won't show up. Now, if you have pet services, then you want to create a separate campaign, and these will be part of your main keywords. Um, so anyway, these are my stock keywords that I use uh, for negative keywords. Uh, so there's pet, pets, dog, dogs, cat, cats. Um, and so that covers kind of the pet section. Then other ones that are you know, people are just searching for information. They're not looking for a funeral home. Um, I don't want I don't want them to search for obituaries. Um, you know, obits, Austin, Texas funeral homes, or something like that. Because you know, those people are not looking to choose a funeral home. They're looking either for funeral information, and and hopefully, if your obituaries are Google friendly, they're going to find those if you're serving that family uh, they'll find that through your the organic results of Google so anyway there's 
the bulk of, of these ones that pertain to the obituary and the death notice. Then there's a group of other ones that are the very, these are very popular um, keywords. So funeral poems and funeral songs are very popular. Um, so if you want to create some traffic to your website, write some blog posts about funeral poems and funeral songs, just don't pay for them in your Google AdWords. Uh, other things too, like directions and hours, they are information searches. And um, I would, you know, I would probably just exclude them. You can, you know, this is, we're starting to get a little nitty gritty here. Uh, and then also too, as I mentioned, any ones that are regarding real estate or houses for sale or homes for sale, just, you, you don't know, you, you don't know what someone might type in and then your ad starts showing up for ads that, um, or for searches that people really don't want your information. And you just want to keep that as, um, you know, you're, you want your ad campaign as tight as possible. Now, if you, um, like other ones that, uh, that I don't have on my general list because it all depends on where you're at. So if you are in, um, where I, I live in Victoria, British Columbia, but also there's a Victoria, Texas. So for, um, if we were doing this for Victoria, Texas, then some additional negative keywords that I would use would be um, Victoria BC or you know B period C period or you know British Columbia. Although if people won't type out Texas, they're not going to type out British Columbia. Um, and there's also Victoria Australia. So now you know Google does a pretty good job of you know if you're searching in Texas. Um, for Victoria Funeral Homes, they're probably going to show up the show the ones in Victoria, Texas, but um, <clears throat> you don't want to leave it to chance for your for your Google AdWords. So I would, in that case, that's how I would use the negative keywords. Um, and also, too, you know, one thing talking about the pets, if um, if you have a pet business, um, you know, some uh, keywords or negative keywords that you may want to um, either take out of your main campaign is one that's related to vets. Um, so there could be, um, you know, and there's that fine line of, uh, you know, if they're having to put their pet down, they might be searching for uh, vets and um, they're not going to probably put in, you know, euthanize pet or something like that. Um, so, so again, I would, I don't have a lot of experience with pet keywords, but I would, um, look into your search. Um, you can actually, after you've been running your campaign for a while, and this is what we do with our accounts is that, um, every other week we go in and we see what searches people actually made and what, where our ads were actually getting clicked. And if they were getting clicked in a, um, if they're getting clicked for terms that we knew that we weren't really attracting that business. So we would then either, um, you know, prune those out and, and add them to our negative list. So, you know, such as maybe competitors terms or something like that. And, um, and then, you know, speaking of competitors terms, what you could do is if you really wanted to, um, bid on your competitors keywords, which you're allowed to do, um, you're just not supposed to use their their name in the ads. Um, I would create a separate campaign, you know, called competition, have um, all of the competitors' names in there, and another one. Um, and then what I would do is have an ad of maybe that just says that you're different and how that you're different, um, and you know, kind of like, um, you know, are you looking for a funeral home? You know, and we and then you know, you know, we do this and this, that would be totally different than what your competition does. But again, that's, um, you know, you're, you're kind of focusing on the smaller, um, you know, that's the, that's the high, um, high hanging, uh, fruit that isn't ripe. So, you know, let's do the low hanging fruit first that's ready to pick. And that's terms like funeral homes, Austin funeral costs and 
cremation and cremation services and cremation costs. So I think that's a pretty good overview of keywords and negative keywords. Um, you know, the best experience you're going to get is get them into your system and just, you know, go in and, and check them. You even just check them once a week and see what, um, you know, what people are searching for. And if you happen to be, you know, paying a um, high price for, for um, terms that uh, really you don't want to rank for, then you know add those to your negative keywords or you know reduce the bid and and those types of things. Um, oh, and one last thing is that um, another thing that you could do is create you know this is the opposite of the competitive uh, campaign. Create a branding campaign where you have all of your keywords and um, for your names and. You know, if there's different spellings or different ways that people may abbreviate the uh, your funeral home name, is add those into the, their own campaign. Now you're going to have a really high quality score because your website's going to be all about your your brand and your name, um, and you can um, you know get those clicks for you know ten and twenty cents. Now, sure, your your organic listing is going to be um, right there at the top, but um, you know it doesn't hurt to have your other um, you know, you, because you can really format how you want your Google Ads to look. Um, it's harder to format how you want your uh, organic listings to look because you don't have control over that. So that's um, you know just another another thing. But create your um, you know your funeral campaign. Um, I create four different ad groups, so there would be the um, funeral homes uh, ad group that has all of the, you know, funeral home, funeral homes, funeral mortu or mortuaries, funeral directors, and then um, then a funeral cost. So it would talk about um, how much is the you know what is the price of a funeral, how much does a funeral cost, um, you know, funeral costs, Austin, Texas. And then uh, the same with cremation. So then the third ad, uh, ad, ad group would be cremation services, and which would be similar to the funeral homes um, campaign, but just to focus on cremation. And then cremation costs. So um, because those searches are, are different and we can direct them to different places on the website. And you can get more detailed than that as well, but that's uh, our starting point. Anyway, this has been uh, a, you know, quite a long video, uh, but uh, I think it's important for people to understand uh, how keywords work, how to find them, uh, the importance of the negative keywords, and, um, and then in the end just sorting out your ad, your ad group so they uh, are consistent and congruent to the searches that people are, are making and they land on the pages that they should land on. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope you got a lot out of it. And if you are wanting to get more calls, uh, we can help you. If you want information about funeral home websites or social media like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, uh, internet marketing and pay-per-click, and even just bringing your strategy and marketing together, um, what I'd recommend you do is go to funeralfuturestips.com and download our free worksheets, and you'll be able to get in contact with me from there. So thanks for watching. This is Robin Heppel.